Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook and loser of every Jesse Eisenberg lookalike contest ever, was questioned by Congress about his involvement in the Cambridge Analytica debacle. The House Energy and Commerce Department softballed some questions to the tech mogul, mainly because Facebook gifted the department over $60,000. Last week, Mark Zuckerberg testified before the House Energy and Commerce Committee, and that is the committee that has authority over internet companies like Facebook. And in a perfect world, no, actually, in a world that even has mediocre democratic institutions, you'd expect that committee to be relatively impartial, impartial, to be able to sit there and listen to Fedbook's pleas of innocence in the face of clear election tampering and think, wow, uh, yeah, this is pretty fucked up. We should... We should do something to, you know, rein in Facebook. But alas, such is not our world. In fact, quite the opposite. First of all, how can a committee that represents the largest spying and manipulation network in the history of humanity be impartial on a case dealing with spying and manipulation? That's literally all the government does. Spy, lie, manipulate, repeat. Secondly, how can you be impartial when the guy that you're supposedly grilling is kinda your sugar daddy? Yeah, so in the 2018 cycle alone, Facebook gifted $66,150 to the House and Energy Committee. And that's more than any other House committee. They asked Zuckerberg what he thinks his punishment should be. As Truthout noted during the hearing, Zuckerberg has asked for his own advice on legislation to regulate his company. Zuckerberg says he supports rules about consent, but adds, you know, we need to make it so that American companies can innovate with features that may be considered invasive. The moral of this immoral story, spies can't regulate spies, and until you remove the power structure of Congress being the paid employees of big corporations like Facebook, our laws are never going to come down against them. I mean, that's real progressive from Congress. You know, that's progressive parenting right there, which is about the only progressive thing they've done in like 20 years. Hey, Marky. Seems like it sold out the psyche of the American people to the highest bidder, leaving everybody feeling betrayed and unsure about what's real and whether they can trust you or not. Do you think you did something wrong, or would you like to sit in front of us with an awkward smile and eat ice cream all day? Senators, I'm gonna go with the ice cream option and continue my course of action proving to the world that democracy is under control of tech giants who like being worshipped by people for their worship of capitalism. But we can all start an argument on Facebook about what ice cream flavor I should eat and whether or not it's racist because cows are from India. Zuckerberg's response was, we need to make it so American companies can innovate, even if it's with features that seem invasive, which is code for, let us root around in your psyche so we can get you to buy shit while you terrifying you of, of everything so you can just be afraid all the time and then sell you more shit using technology and apps we're basically conditioned to quell our fears with consumerism which works great since the far left is literally terrified of everything in this administration fear is always good for business which i believe was mcdonald's original ad campaign explaining why their mascot is a creepy clown so the question really comes down to trust can we trust Facebook? Fucking no! Did we trust Facebook? Yeah. If we didn't, we wouldn't have collapsed our MySpaces and live journals like a dying star to move to a platform and build a universe of our thoughts, feelings, desires, relationship statuses, and meaningless food photos. I mean, at this point, there is so much of our digital DNA on Facebook that they can essentially make clones of like 2 billion of us and just unleash it upon this planet to either destroy it or just run like fun what if scenarios. You're know, like, what if, what if all the people that speak truths to power 
actually were financially funded enough not to live in squalor and travel around the country constantly doing DIY tours and punk rock shit. What if, what if, we, do, what if we celebrated these people instead of making them struggle all day? That'd be a fun what if scenario, wouldn't it? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. They would never run that scenario because people would like it too much. Zuckerberg's trial, or what it really was, an excuse for him to finally wear his Sunday best and pretend like he's a professional, it proved that these companies are all in it to turn a buck any way they can. First, trying to sell us on ads for ourselves, then it was getting corporations to change the game on advertising, and now it's selling our personal and private data to whoever has the biggest check and some fun, fancy new tricks. It's like the worst magician ever. You know, keep your eye on the puppy gifts while I take your fears and passions and personal information and bam, now... It's an ad for gun control and Nissan preying on your psyche.